I'm Joel McCower here in Studio C with Ann Kelly from Ceres. And policy is something that companies often seem allergic to. They seem that they don't really, it's an enemy of doing business. But what is the opportunity and the appropriate role for policy in sustainability? Well, it's a great question, Joel, and in particular in the climate and energy space, which is where I work primarily, um, the opportunity is for companies to be able to both diversify their energy source and to have a more reliable energy source. I mean, you've read about the carbon bubble, the risk of stranded assets ar around carbon resources. If we can get the certainty in place, the right price signals in place, we can really support renewable energy and really unlock the capital that will support renewable energy. Businesses will be able to purchase long-term agreements, have more reliability, and be on the right side of history at the same time. So what are the policies? Is that sub subsidies? Is that tax incentives? Or what, what do we actually yeah, need? Yeah, so there's several. So we got to level the playing field in terms of looking at the subsidies to the fossil fuel industry versus the meager subsidies to renewable energy. And that's well documented that it's highly uneven. So we need to do that. We need to establish and pass the Master Limited Partnerships Parity Act which is really just a way of allowing renewables to have the same kind of master limited partnerships that fossil fuels have often had, just so that we can encourage the right financing mechanisms. We need to have strong renewable portfolio standards at the state level. It's really important to have those at the state level. We have to continue to incentivize energy efficiency at the state level and also incentivize both uh, at the federal level. And fundamentally, we have to regulate carbon from existing power plants. It was deemed a pollutant in 2007. It's time to get those rigs through. They're coming out in June. So people need to really get behind that in order to really enable the shift toward uh, clean energy technology. So when you talk about regulating carbon, I keep hearing the T word tax. Is that something that's even possible in the United States, that, is that we could actually create some incentive to decarbonize the economy? I think it's possible. I think there are some robust bipartisan conversations going on now very much behind the scenes. And I think that we are examining those jurisdictions that have imposed a carbon tax. And we're just now starting to do the analytics and learn from their lessons. And I think from those lessons, we will be able to figure out whether it's possible. And there are emerging efforts in Massachusetts, where I'm from, and in Oregon and other states to impose state carbon taxes. So I think we're learning. And we're learning about what the parameters need to be. So real quickly, Ed, sure. what are the one or two things that companies should be doing to make sure that their policies are aligned with their sustainability strategies? They should be having the two teams sit down, talk to one another, and reconcile their goals, their vision, their parameters, and they should do it soon. Soon. Okay. Yes. Level the playing Yesterday. field, and let's get on it. Great. Absolutely. Thanks, Ann. Thank you, Joel.